Hello everyone and welcome to yet another exciting, groundbreaking 2 Minute Tuesday. In this one we want to talk about a brand new feature that was released into Dynamics 365 pretty recently. And as a matter of fact, there will be some of you watching this tip. And by the way, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, consider doing that. But if you're a subscriber, you will be watching this tip as it comes out and you'll go back into your environment and realize that maybe it's not available yet. Uh, it was announced that Microsoft was adding this functionality mid-May and I created a trial today. Today is May 25th. I created a trial and it's already included in it. So I can see that it's coming. It's coming to all environments uh, pretty soon if you don't have it already. Maybe you're watching this a few months from now, a few weeks from now, you already have it. But I wanna talk about kind of the why and the how we used the newest field type that we can create in CDS or in Dynamics 365, and that is the file field type. So now we can create fields that allow us to attach a file to it. Now you might be asking, but Gus, what's the point of doing that if we can integrate with SharePoint or even attach documents and, and records into a note? Well, the problem with that is that when you do that, they go into a repository, which can have any amount of documents or files in there. So if you upload something to SharePoint and you're a company that leverages that functionality tremendously, you may end up with hundreds of documents inside that folder. And if you're trying to look for a very important piece of information, or a very important file, then you know it might take a while. And yeah, you can use SharePoint searching and all of that, but you may want to have you know, one file that is always ready to go. Maybe if you're in a project, you want to see the, the SOW or the contract for that project. You want to find it really, really fast. Or if you are, you know, working on an opportunity and you want to assign off or, or something like that. Like it doesn't matter. This works for custom entities and for out of the box entities as well. And what I want to show you today is how you can add this field into a form and actually use it. Now this field type has been out for a while, but it was only available to be used through Canvas apps and Flow or Power Automate. Um, but now we're actually able to use it in model-driven applications, although it's not 100% there yet. And again, I'm recording this on May 25th, and I will tell you what is it that I found that doesn't work yet, but I assume is getting you know pushed out pretty soon and taken care of. So. Here I am on the Power Apps Maker or the Power Platform Administration uh, Creator side, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and expand the data here and go to Entities. Now, in order to save some time, I already added a field into the system. However, I'm going to show you how you can add a new one. I'm not going to save it because, again, it will take a while to have that. As you can see, it's loading, and I do all of these in real time. However, you know, I want to show you how it looks once it's all said and done. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So in here, now that I'm in the fields, I'm going to go ahead and add a new field. So I'm going to click on add field and you notice you're going to give it the name. So let's say if this is a, uh, I don't know, the SOW, just like we were talking about it before, the scope of work for a particular project, go ahead and give it a name just like you do with any field. And then you go into data type. So when you open that up, you will notice that there is a new data type called file. Maybe you haven't noticed this before, but again, Regardless of whatever version you're on, unless you're on on premise, I'm not really sure if this is available on premise, but if you're online, chances are you will see this available to you, the ability to create a file type. What you don't what you won't have is the ability to add it to the form, which is what we're going to do next. So you're going to go ahead and create this thing. You can pick some options, for example, if you want to enable field security on the field or not, if you want to enable auditing, things like that. You can uh, also specify the maximum file size by default 32 max, but you can go all the way up to 128. But like I mentioned before, let's go ahead and cancel this one. I'm going to navigate away. Um, as I mentioned, I already added a field in here. It's called uh, credit certificate, I believe. So, uh, yep, there it is. So it's a, it's a new field. So you can see it's a file field custom. And this was added into the account form. So this works for out-of-the-box entities and custom entities, as I mentioned before. But what we're going to do now is we're going to add it to the form. So we're going to actually do that. So I'm going to go into the form and I'm going to navigate to the main form. So that is the account form right there. So let's open that up. 
And on the right, on the left hand side, I'm gonna say I'm gonna make sure it says show only on use fields, and we're gonna drop this down and show the custom field. So there is my credit certificate um, field that I added earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and drop it. This is just like adding any field into a form. So you won't really see a difference uh, when it comes to adding the functionality into it. So I'm gonna let it publish, and we'll be right back to see the results. All right, and after 30 seconds later, we're ready to go check it out. So I'm gonna navigate back into Dynamics 365. Let me hit F5 right here and refresh the page just for good measure. Uh, let's open a random account like AdventureWorks, why not? And uh, here we go. So there it is. Credit certificate is a regular, you know, file field. So we'll, let's go ahead and choose a file. In this case, there we go. We have a tax certificate here. I'm going to double click. And as you can see, the file gets uploaded into Dynamics 365 and uh, it's visible. So if I click on it, you can see it's opened up right here at the bottom. Let me open this up. And there is our tax certificate. Obviously, it's a sample in this case, but it works very well. As long as you're in a PC and you know earlier I mentioned that there's still a couple of things that need to be worked out. I try this field uh, from a phone from my from my iPhone and from my iPad Pro both using the application, the Dynamics 365 app, the latest version of the app, and it just doesn't work. It opens Safari or the, the browser on the device, and it kind of just sits there. So it's not opening the, the document for me on a, on a mobile device, so I wanted to add that caveat to it. As of now, again, May 25th, it's not working on the the tablet app and the mobile app. I don't know if it works in Android. I'm using, again, an Apple uh, iPhone and an iPad Pro, maybe on an Android tablet or an Android phone works. And I hope anyone watching this video, if you have that, go ahead and try it. Maybe it works on that. It would be great to know. Um, if not, well, I just wanted to report that at least it's not working on those. But if your, custom, if your users are not depending on a mobile client uh, or on a mobile app to access these records, then this is a solution that works right now and it works perfect. I mean, I've done, uh, I don't know how many tests with it and, and uploaded documents. I try to upload it all the way up to the capacity. So I made it 128 megs and I uploaded a video to it that was over 100 megs. It works flawlessly. I mean, it's it's perfect. So um, the only thing again is, is not working on a mobile device for some reason hopefully we get that functionality in place but i hope you enjoy the tip this week and we'll see you next week